Hey, Medell, how's it going? I just want to give you guys some clarification on the recent email that came out from Dr. Hazelwood about single sign-ons and not using your Medell account with certain uh, websites. Uh, we found that there are some websites who, um, it's like your banking information or something, some sort of website like Sonic Drive-In or whatever um, that requires you to log in and use your Mid-Dash-Dell email. Uh, and, and that's the type of information that we're gonna clear out because sometimes it pulls too much information from our Mid-Dell side of things. Uh, so gonna show you one, um, what we're talking about as far as if you come onto a website and ask you to use your Google login, and then two, how to check what sites that is. Um, sometimes we don't even realize that we've we've chosen to sign in with our Middell email address. Um, and any of those websites that you have chosen to log in with Middell, that's fine. Uh, just by August 11th, um, unless it's you know a, an educationally based one or it's, a, it's gonna be one that's approved by Middell, you wanna make sure you log into your account and just update the email address to go to your personal email address, okay? So uh, first thing, what I'm just going to use NFL.com as an example. Um, and once you get into the sign in page, what it is, is it comes down here to uh, typically when you'll see it, you'll either see a, a box with a Google sign or like right here where it says sign in, it'll say log in with your Gmail account, something like that. And because mid dell.net is associated with Google, that counts as a Google sign on. Um, so if, any, if you've ever gone to a website and you click here, it's fine to still go through this process, but you want to use a personal email um, so you can stay within your, you know, your Chrome synced with Middell and still use a different account. So you notice I have multiple email addresses here. I can click that button, but as long as I'm not using my Middell account, that's that's what we're looking for. Okay, so it's fine to have NFL.com. Uh, you can use it on your Chrome browser, but you you don't want to use a single sign-on for Mid Dash Dell because uh, we're gonna that's the piece of the puzzle that we're gonna be eliminating is um, access to to those types of accounts. So, um, so that's just that initial process. Um, as you're coming moving forward, if you're creating new accounts, just make sure you're using a personal email address that you're gonna have access to outside of Mid Dell. Um, after that, okay, if you're not sure what accounts you've logged in for or logged in to using your um, mid-dell.net email address. Uh, this is in reference to what Scott had emailed um, out uh, earlier. What you're going to do to check that is you're gonna go up on the right-hand side and because we sync our, our email addresses so well, this is where you know kind of the, the issues are arising. So click on your profile and your little drop-down will pop up and you're gonna click manage your Google account. And then the next step was to, on the left-hand side, you're gonna select the word security. And this is just going to give you issues of, with that has to do with your account, okay? So apparently my account is at risk, so I should probably check into that. Uh, but what we're gonna talk about today is when you're using your Google login, so you're gonna scroll down um, to signing into other sites. So signing in with Google, this currently tells me that I use my Google account to sign into 48 sites and apps. You'll click on this option and then these are those accounts and third party apps that we're talking about. Um, as long as you're using it for school or whatever, or it's you know directly associated, that's fine. But as you scroll through here, if you have if your bank pops up, um, you know, or your Chick Fil A account that you know has twenty five dollars a month added to it, those are the accounts that we're asking you guys to take off of the Middell uh, email side of things and change those settings to your personal ones. All you have to do is click into the website that it is go to account settings and simply change your mid dash uh, email address to your personal one. I um, hope that clears up uh, some questions for you guys um, and thanks so much.